Welcome back, everybody. This is the Mother and Son postgame show for the New York Giants. We are on day two of the NFL draft, and I would like to just say that I need to apologize to Dave Gettleman because I did some thinking. I talked to my friend. Yeah, I know. I know. It's shocking. As much as I like to talk trash to Dave Gettleman. Now, I'm going to say why. I didn't really know much about this Kadarius Tony guy. I still Mm -hmm. don't. A lot of people actually did. Uh, If you're a diehard college fan, and especially if you're a Florida fan, you know that even though he was just considered a quote unquote gadget player and somebody that is used as more like a third option or someone that you use in a run game, he actually had a really productive season in his last year with the Florida Gators. And here's what I did. I looked at his highlights. I saw something that the Giants can develop. I don't think he's ready to play right now, but I think they brought him as a developing piece because we already have a number one receiver in Kenny Galladay. We brought Kadarius Toney in as somebody that we could use on special teams and for the run game, which I think is very beneficial to us because that's where we lack sometimes, especially if someone like Saquon, you know, the jersey I'm wearing right now, Saquon Barkley, in case my my cousin gets hurt, you know, (laughs) we we need somebody to back him up. So that would be very helpful. But specifically special teams, when you have someone like Jabril Peppers, who's always on the field, you got to give him some rest. Jabril That's Peppers true. should not be on special teams. He should only just, we need him just on defense. We, He's we, definitely, teams we definitely started using him on uh, special teams, that, you know, to fill in gaps. It was a desperation move. And, and, yes. and he did well on special teams, but you're right. He needs he needs to have a break more. He's a powerful player. He needs more time. Right. We don't need him doing double duty all the time. This also gives Daniel Jones no excuse to say that he doesn't have any weapons or that he doesn't have a team around him because that was his excuse for the longest at Duke that he played at a weak program. But you're in the NFL now. We gave you weapons. Only thing that we need to do now is address the offensive line, which I really hope is what we do with this pick at number 42. We've got to do that now. We need need to get a lineman. He needs more help. I think we need to get two more offensive linemen just in case because people get hurt. I know we had a really rough reaction last night, but after doing some thinking and looking at the footage and the tape, I could see why Kadarius Tony is a good pick for us. And I once again want to apologize to Dave Gentleman for I'm gonna let him you off. do all the apologizing. I, I said <laughs> what I meant. I will say that after you provided me with some clarity and I looked at some of the film mm-hmm. of uh Mr. Tony, <laughs> uh, I do have a better understanding of why. So I'm just going to say I understand, but I am not taking back what I see. He has made enough mistakes to me um, to not really deserve to still be GM, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if these moves are of value to us in this draft and next year's draft, because we did get some extra picks for next year's draft. So yes. we'll see. I understand the strategy. Let me just say that I, again, I understand strategy he decided to trade down for the first time in his career as a general manager first time in his career i I was actually surprised to see that that he had never traded down in his career as gm he always stayed the course he just always stayed the course it was always something he was tried to do that was his you know i guess superstition you know just that's how he managed things but he decided to trade down and i get why because not only were we able to get someone at, at a pick that we probably couldn't have gotten him at because someone could have picked him up if they wanted to. But because he was available, not only would we be able to get a backup receiver that's not Devontae Smith, we got extra picks. And that is very useful to a team that's still in rebuild mode. Even if yeah, it's like- true. Yeah, they should be okay. Fans are, you know, are, are a mixed bag as far as emotions and how they feel and how it went down. The one thing I do want to bring up is speaking of emotions, you know, we did read that, you know, um, Zadarius Tony has some emotional issues on the field. He can't control himself if he feels like, you know, late hits happen. He wants to fight. I'm hoping that he'll have some mentoring and somebody will help him deal with all that stuff. Because I say if he can't control himself on the field and, and keep his emotions intact, then he's going to have trouble off the field. And with, with the fame and fortune that comes with being an NFL player, I just don't want to see the young guy make you know any mistakes um off the field no um, Odell Beckham 2.0 he, right no plaxico burrs walking oh god no guns. don't shoot yourself you up. know no. <laughs> jesus you know that's where it all make- started <laughs> <laughs> but you know i've just I, what i just need is you know for him to to just to, to work hard and do what he's supposed to do uh in his role as an nfl player and you know uh, you you also mentioned to me which i wish you didn't tell me this that he had some sort of aspirations of being a a rapper 
Let's yeah. hope that he's let's hope he's leaving that behind and he's not going to be distracted. Well, you know, Damian Lillard, uh, I don't know if you know Damian Lillard, the star in the NBA, but uh, that's a bad dude. And he raps on the side, although he's good at it. So but he it doesn't mess up his focus. He, he's balling. All right. Well, if you have emotional, if you're not going to get no championship. Issues, Sorry, right. Trailblazer fans. <laughs> you know, so let's just hope that he focuses in on his NFL career. And once he gets his groove, uh, he decides to you know, try the other stuff. Let's just hope for right. that. All right, Giants fans, that's it for right now. We have to get back to the draft and see the round for uh, second round pick for the New York Giants. We're waiting for the number 42 pick. Let's see who the Giants pick. Hopefully it's offensive lineman. We'll catch you in the next Chronicles of a Giants fan.